Dubai, often hailed as the epitome of opulence, stands as a beacon of marvels, from awe-inspiring mega-projects to captivating travel destinations. But did you know that Dubai is spearheading the development of the first national freight and passenger railway network of the United Arab Emirates? And get this, it's in the middle of the desert. Quite interesting, right? If you want to know more, then stick with us till the end of this video. Once again, Dubai has amazed the world with its impressive mega rail project, featuring over 12,200 kilometers of rail line. The Etihad Rail, a multi-billion dollar endeavor and one of the largest infrastructure projects in the United Arab Emirates, is set to connect the seven emirates and the entire Middle East. Dubai's reputation for lavish construction projects is well known, and the Etihad Rail exemplifies this trend, showcasing the city's penchant for extravagant megastructures as a symbol of its wealth. In 2004, the Gulf Cooperation Council countries initiated a feasibility study for a railway network spanning the region. However, it wasn't until five years later that concrete steps were taken. June 2009 saw the passing of Federal Law No. 2, which laid the groundwork for the establishment of the United Arab Emirates National Railway Network. This entity was charged with overseeing the development, construction, and operation of the UAE's first national freight and passenger railway network. The ambitious rail network aims to connect key industrial and population centers within the UAE to other railway networks across the Gulf Cooperation Council. Bloomberg reports that the project carries an estimated price tag of $14 billion. This 1,200-kilometer railway infrastructure is integral to the broader $100 billion Gulf Cooperation Council GCC, rail program, designed to establish connections between the UAE and neighboring countries such as Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain, and Oman. The western section of the Etihad Rail links to Saudi Arabia via Gwat, while the eastern section connects to Oman through Al Ain. Traversing the emirate, the railway line interconnects significant Arabian cities like Abu Dhabi, Sharjah and Dubai before extending to Fujairah in the Northern Emirates along the Indian Ocean coast. The initial phase of the project was completed in the year 2016, marking a significant milestone as operations commenced along a 264-kilometer route. This route serves as a vital link connecting the inland gas fields of Shaw and Lewa to the bustling port of Ruiz. Presently, this established route plays a crucial role in facilitating the transportation of granulated sulfur from the southern regions of Abu Dhabi to the prominent industrial hub of Al Ruais, where it undergoes processing and eventual exportation. Developed through a collaborative effort with the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, ADNOC, this freight line boasts impressive capabilities, with the ability to transport up to 22,000 tons of sulfur on a daily basis. Utilizing 110 wagons per journey, the efficient movement of sulfur along this network is a testament to the careful planning and execution of the project. Since its creation, approximately 30 million tons of granulated sulfur have been successfully transported along this route. What is even more remarkable is the impeccable safety record maintained throughout these operations. Not a single accident or lost time incident has occurred, underscoring the network's reliability and efficiency in meeting transportation demands while prioritizing safety standards. Contracts for the second phase of the railway network were awarded in 2018, and construction commenced in 2020, with the first track laid in 2021. Phase 2 of the Etihad rail spans 605 kilometers from the Saudi Arabian border in Gwat to Fujairah, passing through Abu Dhabi and Dubai. The completion of the second phase, announced by the UAE on February 28, 2023, extended the total line to 900 kilometers. The network adheres to international standards, featuring 38 locomotives and over 1,000 wagons capable of transporting various goods. Each locomotive boasts a remarkable 4,500 horsepower, making them among the most powerful freight train engines in the Middle East. These trains can reach speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour and are designed to withstand the challenging geographical and climatic conditions of the desert, ensuring optimal performance, efficiency, and sustainability. The completion of stages one and two of the rail network required the efforts of 11 contractors, 25 consultants, 28,000 specialists, and 133 million working hours. 
Since operations began, approximately 30 million tons of granulated sulfur have been transported without any injuries or lost time incidents, highlighting the network's efficiency. Additionally, each journey removes around 300 trucks from the road, contributing to an estimated reduction of 2 million truck trips and an 80% decrease in carbon dioxide emissions, significantly impacting the UAE's overall carbon reduction efforts. Logistics preparations for the passenger service are underway. In May 2023, Etihad Rail signed a preliminary agreement with ride-hailing service Uber. While over two-thirds of the rail line has been constructed, no official start date has been announced for the passenger rail service. Once completed, the entire Etihad Rail network will span about 1,200 kilometers, linking the UAE to Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Oman, Kuwait, and Bahrain. However, the UAE already possesses a solid ground transportation network, with highways connecting all seven emirates extensively. This might raise questions about the necessity of such a significant investment in a project like Etihad Rail. However, Etihad Rail goes beyond being just a rail project. It is being developed in accordance with the Abu Dhabi Economic Vision 2030, which aims to diversify the region's economy through strategic initiatives intended to bolster the UAE's socio-economic growth and diversification. This network is expected to kickstart economic opportunities worth up to $200 billion for the country. With Etihad Rail, transportation costs for industries in the GCC region are anticipated to see a significant decrease, fostering growth and enhancing their market competitiveness. The savings achieved by these businesses will enable them to achieve greater commercial success, thereby making a more substantial contribution to the economic advancement of the Middle East. Additionally, it is anticipated to serve as a sustainable option for both freight and passenger transportation across urban and rural areas of the Emirates. Upon its completion, Etihad Rail is projected to accommodate approximately 36.5 million daily passengers and transport 50 million tons of cargo, thereby playing a significant role in reducing road traffic emissions. This aligns with the nation's pledge to the Net Zero 2050 agenda. The ambitious Etihad Rail project is undoubtedly a significant step towards sustainable transportation and economic development in the UAE. By aiming to reduce road transport CO2 emissions by up to 21% annually by 2050, the UAE is demonstrating a strong commitment to combating climate change and promoting sustainability. The projected reduction of over 2.2 million tons of greenhouse emissions annually is also equivalent to removing up to 375,000 vehicles from the roads. This massive project not only enhances transportation infrastructure, but also aligns with global efforts towards a more sustainable future. It's commendable to see such proactive measures being taken to address environmental concerns, while also fostering economic growth and connectivity. So what do you think of Etihad? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked today's content, do give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.